Social media caused 93% of women to mileage to go up. Their mileage went up when social media came. They was able to get flown out and reach their ex-boyfriends and, and ex-crushes from elementary to middle school, high school to college. They was able to get hit up by guys from other cities and states and even other countries, Dubai, where they like to where they like to um, use it for a human toilet. So it went up. All that lonely nights and stuff, it, it, it all that went down the drain. So everybody done went up. They getting hit up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. So even if they're not on a dating site, they still getting hit up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? They saying no to a lot of dudes, but some of them guys, they saying thank you. If they think he attractive, they think he got money, they see he got some some cars or something, they see he at nice restaurants and places, they say, ooh, I'd like to take some pictures with him or with where he at, make myself look special, make myself look like a man that, a man with means want me, you know? You know, it's all about the look. They don't care if you're a devil worshiper, they don't care about that. They might sneak it in your ear every now and then. They might say, when are you going to start going to church with me? But they ain't going to leave you. You could be a devil worshiper. They're not going to leave you. Ninety-something percent of these women is not going to leave you if you got money, you travel. You know a lot of people. You got a lot of connections. They're not going to leave you because you're a devil worshiper. They're not going to leave you if you got a little wee-wee. They might cheat on you, but only time they go, only time they're gonna leave you and stuff is when you uh, is when they get a baby by you or if you marry them. They gotta have some leverage on you to leave. The only time they have leverage on, the only time they got leverage on a uh, man with money is they get a baby by him. Or if, they, or if he marry them. Other than that, they ain't got no leverage on them unless they try to sue them. But this is the type of world we live in. You know what I'm saying? Women are getting ran through because of social media. They smashing four and five different guys a month. Can you imagine that? They, you're talking about ran through, they getting a lot of DNA, uh, from all these guys in their body and a lot of demons, you know, spiritual uh, demons in their body. Uh, scientists now prove, have proven that demons do exist. It's got people that claim they got demonic possessions and chronic headaches. They see an unknown force resting on the nervous system and the brain, you know. So, yeah, demons exist for those of you who don't. Uh, and they said, we don't know what it is. It, we, it seemed like a force that's inf that can influence the nervous system and the brain. And, you know, when everybody that claimed they was demonic possessed, they hearing things, say, they see something there. Yeah, it's a demon. It's demons. Several demons. Sometimes one, sometimes several. So, yeah, this is real. This is absolutely real. But this is the world we live in, y'all. Um... You know, women getting ran through at a high rate. No walls. They're not saving it for their husband. Women bodies are very much different from men bodies. You know, they keep getting plunged by all these different guys and they having female on female experience experiences. And uh and they're dealing with toys and they're not eating healthy. And they smoke a hookah and they do cigarette and they do weed and they do that. And they taking making videos and clapping on in front of the camera. They just live in a reckless, ruthless, sexy red, Megan Thee Stallion lifestyle. And they think it's they call that living it up. And then they're gonna say, once they get really ran through, lose all their looks and get run down, then they say, uh, oh, I'm ready to give my life to God. I just wanna find one man instead of the after you've been with three hundred and fifty dudes. 
They talking about now they ready to settle down and get that man leftovers. They get that man leftovers. These men have to learn how to vet. You know, how to vet these women properly. They need to learn. These guys need to learn how to vet these women properly because they marrying ran through damaged goods. They ran through ran, they damaged goods. It's sad, man. It's the type of world we live in, man. It's sad. You know, that's social media. You know, it just changed the whole life. They don't even know how to go home. You know, they go at the parties, stay out on. It's just, it's a ruthless. Nobody perfect. None of us are perfect. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that women are God's gift to the world, and they're supposed to be a little cleaner, a little better than men in order to help them. You can't help me if you're worse than me. How are you going to help me if you're worse than me? You know? But uh, it's sad. They're getting ran through, y'all. Ain't no way to say it. Most of them ain't got no walls. Most of you guys, even if you got a jumbo blammy, jumbo 14-inch, it might even have a problem. May not even get, still may not even feel or nothing. And she got 14-inch toys. So your little 12, 13, 14 inches may not even do nothing, bro. God bless me. I'm Alan Rainier. Follow me on Instagram, Alan Rainier Show. If you want a consultation, hit me up on there. Uh, it's not about perfection. It's about connection. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He can help. He can help. You can do more for you than you can do for yourself. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Much love.